Hi, welcome to another video. It's Jackie Milusius, and today I want to make a very quick review about about this. So this is the um, sort of potential replacement bag for my Mavic 3, and the reason why I decided to get this backpack is because I am sort of I'm not really feeling the DJ Mavic 3 bag anymore. Um, first of all, I think that bag is a very good bag. I think it's well built. I think it's really, really sturdy. I think it actually has a bit of flair to it, you know, especially when in the briefcase mode. And I also do believe that that bag is not giving a lot of credit for how good it is. The one drawback to that backpack is the fact that it is actually quite expensive. I think it goes for about 200 euros or 150 within that range. I feel even 100 euros for that backpack is quite expensive. But I didn't buy that backpack. Um, I got the Mavic 3 Flymo Combo Kit and that came with it. Um, I quite enjoyed it for a while, but then um, after a couple of weeks, barely a month or so, I kind of lost the flight to go fly. And the reason why I did that was because, or the reason why I, wasn't, I didn't feel like flying anymore was because that bag, while it's quite nice, it's a bit inconveniencing. It's, it's not super, super, super practical if you are someone that just wants to spend more time planning or more time flying your drone. So this is actually what I wanted and this is what I missed in that backpack. So what you can see is that over here these compartments are not overlapping and it is very very easy to access all your stuff so here you have your controller you have your um your the drone itself you have your batteries you have your nd filters and you also have space for all sort of stuff you know um of course the mavic 3 bag can accommodate these stuff as well too but then the drawback is that you have overlapping compartments for instance right so let's say you have your controller your rc and controller or your Mavic uh, or your RC Pro controller. First of all, you cannot, uh, what is not safe, and I don't think you can actually put your controllers in those in that bag with your joysticks um, attached. You need to first unscrew it, um, put the joysticks themselves into their safety compartment before you can put it into the bag. And secondly, um, before you can access your batteries or the controller itself, you need to actually lift up the flap where you have your accessories sitting on and this might sound like a false word problem but um i kind of realized that it's a bit inconveniencing for me and i wasn't just feeling it and when i think of all those headaches i have to go through i just don't feel like flying anymore really i just ask myself is it really worth it of course except it's for a paid um job or client or something that i have no option but if it's go fly just probably practice my skills or just fly for leisure when I think of the whole idea of going through the host process, I just realized mm, it's not really, really what I want to do. And secondly, while that bag is quite nice, I realized that it's actually, it fits really, really fast, you know, and um, it's after a while, I think when you've really put that bag through its use and pace, it's gonna start looking a bit ugly. Um, it kind of looks washed out pretty, pretty, pretty fast. So while the material itself is quite durable, um, I think it's very prone to attracting um, um, dust and all sort of natural elements like mud and those stuff, you know. Um, so I decided to go for this bag and I got it on Amazon. This actually is from a brand, I think it's called Okima. I don't know if you can see. Uh, my face alone. Yes, so Okima, right? And I think this sounds more Japanese. This sounds Japanese to me. I think it's a Japanese brand. And this bag is actually quite good. Um, just to give you an overview of what it looks like. So if you can hear this, this is a hard case. Um, so your your drone, your equipment and everything is pretty, 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 pretty protected as well too. And inside there you have this already pre-cut um, solutions and good news is that yeah you actually have this to kind of strap or protect your gimbal yeah sorry not a gimbal sorry your <laughs> your um what do you have again your controller and everything and you can actually take out this compartment here to accommodate your rc pro controller or your rc n1 controller whichever controller you have so this kind of works for it and of course you have um solution for i think these are for the batteries for three batteries and yeah you have what do you have here? Just some other accessories, I would say. The good thing also with this bag too is this part of the bag, right? Yeah, you can put your laptop, or you can put your PC, or you can put your um, iPad or documents or anything here. Yeah. And yeah, for your accessories as well too. So I find this bag to be pretty, pretty useful. 
um, the price is around 70 euros I think but if you um, but I need to do excluding VAT and I got about 9% discount on this so everything went back to around 50 or 50 something euros there about um, It is quite good. I really do like it I like the fact too that it's in the backpack configuration because this is actually very very more uh, very comfortable I like the fact I could just put over the backpack. I don't really like the briefcase or yeah I don't really like the briefcase solution um, that makes me look like a contractor which I'm really <laughs> fond of um, with a backpack I mean I can actually go cycling or go jogging or going any stuff on my drone and that's really, really cool you know I could walk for longer hours without having to feel fussy on my arms and with the DJI um, bag when in the backpack mode that stuff is quite hideous I do not really fancy it that much while it's quite useful but it looks sort of ugly um, with this drone with this, with, this, with this backpack I really do like it of course this backpack is not all rosy there are some drawbacks to it and that is one of the reasons why i might actually not keep this i might go for something else uh, and this is actually one reason to why the dji backpack actually shines outshines this backpack and if you look at this right unlike the dji backpack where you have the bottom the bottom is kind of like waterproof and dust proof and all those stuff you can easily just clean it with this backpack it is basically just fabric it's a typical backpack right of course it is a hard um sort of i think there is like a plastic or something in there i don't know but it's kind of really really hard but the biggest issue is if you want to access this um backpack right even practice your drones and everything you need to like place this on a platform like this and imagine you're shooting say in nature for instance like in the desert or in the desert or you're shooting practice in the forest on a rainy it just rain and you go out to shoot right when you put this constantly on the mode or stuff like that this easily absorbs it and over time i do not really think this will look as nice as it looks right now if you're not really big on looks and all that and i think it's quite easy to overlook that but um aside just being dirty i also think it's not only will it be dead right but it's just not you're going to lose this so shiny thing after a while and this is going to absorb a lot of liquid and this is going to absorb a lot of liquid as well too over here if you can see this is net this will absorb a lot of dirt which is quite difficult to come out so it's such a pity but i know it's a backpack right so there's really a lot you can do with it um except you're going to be extremely careful on how you place these stuffs but for me right now this is my biggest drawback with this bag and i wish this was a situation but uh, i might still keep it because i really do like it i really do fancy it i think it's well made i think it's nice the reviews on amazon quite good and looking at the build quality as well too this looks like good value for money and i just like the fact that it is very 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 open like this I like the fact that there are no overlap compartments i can easily access all my stuff and i just want to go to my fly spot and and fly yeah i don't want to spend two three or four minutes looking for where i have this where i have that and the good thing with this bag as well too is that you cannot forget it's kind of it's more difficult to forget your stuff compared to the mavic 3 bag because everything is in the open right so you get to see what is mixing what is missing as soon as you you flip this open so guys that is it about this bag um but um really my overall judgment is i think it's a good bag i think it's nice uh, if i'm able to overcome the whole idea of having here dirty or stained um, I think I'll keep it. I save about 27 days to keep this and see if I really want it or not. Um, guys, if you have similar stuff, if you have like a backpack um, for your for your drone, any sort of drone at all, tell me your kind of experiences. I would like to know because I really need something to convince me to keep this backpack. I do not want this to be the issue, the deciding factor to why I return it. So if you have kind of an experience or anything, please let me know. I'll be eager to, to hear what you have to say. Until next time, I wish you a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and click that bell button. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, keep creating and most importantly, please and please do stay safe. Peace out. Ciao.